Hey everybody, this is Mike at Plus 8 Precision. Welcome to part two of uh, reverse engineering a worn lathe gear. We got some measurements to continue taking um, so I can get a, get a replacement gear or hopefully find a replacement gear uh, online, something close, so I don't have to go through and manufacture the whole gear from, from a blank. Uh, I don't have a dividing head. I do have a rotary table. I don't have a set of gear cutters. So if I can find something close, I think that would save save me some money, you know. And and this is a solution that anybody who lacks a lot of those uh, the more specialized equipment or the the step above just being an amateur machinist um, would have available to them at their disposal. So uh, let me continue capture some of these measurements. And uh, we'll just keep on going. So, first thing I got to do is I do have to measure uh, the hub to the face of the gear. One thing I did realize, and I did try to point that out in part two, if you look at the um, the uh, the stud that the gear uh, rides on and mounts to the arm, you can see that you have. Um, from this face to the edge of the shoulder, that is a dimension in there, and that does pertain to the hub faces. So even though it might not be precision to within tenths, it does have to be held to within thousands. Um, my guess would be anywhere, you know, a thou would be plenty of run out or end play for this application. So, let's get started. Again, we'll measure this. And you can see we have 127 thousandths, so roughly an eighth of an inch. I'll mark that down here on the sheet of paper. And let's do the other side. Again, everything has been filed in stone, so there's no burrs. These edges were very sharp. And this side. Uh, let's see. That looks pretty clear. So this side, we got 200... 226 thousandths uh, on the height of that from the face, from the gear face to the face of the hub. And this side was 127, 126 thousandths from this face to this face. Uh, we did measure the gear width on the face. That's 457 thousandths. Um, again, there's probably some room. Uh, for that but I think that's probably all the information that uh, that we need let's check out our um, our sketch just a very preliminary preliminary shop sketch here but you can see the bore uh, I'm, again I'm gonna use a 916 reamer for that that's gonna be five six two five this bore measures 565 and uh, the shaft measures 560. So I think the 916 will tighten that up as well, which uh, will eliminate some of the, um, the wear from this thing moving on the shaft. Uh, we've got an OD, which again, depending on what tooth you land on or remaining tooth you land on, is 1 inch 930 thousandths. And then the rest of the dimensions, you can see I've captured uh, the diameters of both of the hubs. And then the overall, which corresponds to the shoulder length of roughly 800 thousandths. And that is something that would have to be maintained. 
So uh, we'll just keep on going here and uh, see if we can find something in the book or online or wherever. All right, um, <clears throat> after looking at this gear, I think it's too worn to try to use it to measure to find all the information that I'm going to need to collect in order to order um, a gear as close to this as possible. So I'm going to have to take probably another gear off of the lathe um, in order to be able to measure it more accurately. You can see these teeth are just beyond worn. So, um, give me a few minutes. Let me get a, another gear off of the lathe somewhere in the gear train, wherever I can access easily. <clears throat> and we'll start measuring that up and we'll see if we can um, get the information we need. Okay, here is the gear that I just removed from the lathe. You can see the difference in the way the teeth are. So this plainly displays how much wear is on this little bronze gear. Um, which brings us back to this gear. I believe it's a spur gear, 14.5 pressure angle. Um, this one you can clearly see is 44 teeth. So we need to determine the diametral pitch of this gear, um, which coincide with all the gears that are in the gear train. <clears throat> um, at least the ones that are uh, the gear train outside of the quick change gearbox. So the way to do that is to take the number of teeth plus two and divide it by the OD of the gear. So, let's check the OD of this gear. And let's see, what are we getting? We are getting about 200, 2 inches, 8.73. Two inches, eight seventy-three. Uh, let me grab a mic just to double check that. Okay, let's uh, we'll check it with the micrometer. Making sure that I'm on opposing teeth. This is a little bit tricky to do on camera. Making sure everything is lined up. Okay, there it is right there. Let's lock it. And we have Two inches 876 but I'm gonna bet this is two inches 875 I'll double check off camera um, where it's easier to do so again there's the measurement let's do the math 
Yes, after double checking, it was two inches, 875,000. So again, looking at our cheat sheet, um, we want to divide the number of teeth plus two by the OD, two inches, 875. So in this case, we had gear, a gear with um, 44 teeth plus two, that's 46. So let's go 46 divided by 2.875 equals 16. So 16 is our diametral pitch. So now with the information obtained, um, the previous information after measuring the worn gear, uh, I, I have enough confidence now where I can order something online. Hopefully I can find something that matches very closely. Um, maybe requires a small amount of machining um, to get it to go on the lathe, but we're going to start with that. Get the first gear done. That goes pretty well we'll get the second one done because I believe the one right next to where this one is mounted uh, is worn as well just not as dramatic as this but it is worn so and I believe that one's a 28 tooth gear right now don't know if the dimensions are the same uh, hub probably are but obviously we'll get that off and we'll measure that too but let's get this first part of it done see how that goes and order a gear. Okay, here is the replacement gear I bought. Bought it off eBay. Listed as a slightly used but in good condition gear. I've already counted the teeth. There are 30. And did the measurements. And this is a 16 diametral pitch as the others. Um, 14.5 <clears throat> degree pressure angle, and I still haven't put the other gear back on, um, just so we can see that they do mesh properly. Comparing this again you can see how worn this gear is. This gear is not a perfect fit. There are differences. One being the bore size. I think that's plain on the camera. This, uh, the worn gear is a 9 16 bore within some thousands. And this bore is a half inch, 0.5. No keyway, so that's a good thing. Other differences are, you can see this is flat, whereas we have hubs on both of the sides of this worn gear. This one, we have a hub only on one side. So, that's going to be some machining. I have to machine this off, um, leaving this much of the hub on this side. And I will make a small piece here, off camera, maybe a washer. And um, that should make this um, fit onto the lathe and hopefully work as this one did not. So, price was right. Came pretty quick. It's in decent shape. All the teeth are there. Nothing's chipped. Nothing's, you know, worn. Everything looks pretty good. Um, it's a Boston gear, so, and incidentally, while I was looking for this, I did see some other gears that I needed, um, again, they're probably going to be like this where they do require some machining, but, uh, this is steel, and this is bronze, I'm assuming, so, don't really know what effect that'll have on the lathe, maybe make it a little noisier, but hopefully it'll cure the wear, and the wearing, at least as long as I've had this, Hat will have this lathe. 
Um, it is from the 50s. That makes it quite old. I don't know if I'll be using it that long, but um, you never know, right? I mean, so from here I will start to uh, machine this into something that's usable for the lathe, make the other piece, and uh, get it mounted on the lathe.